Hello, my name is Mariana and this is a reading for Aries. Um, so Aries, as always, I'm doing your reading with my own deck. So the cards that you'll see are from this deck. And so, okay, Aries, let's talk about hard work, right? And commitment to a job that you're doing, to a project that you are involved, to something that seems daunting or, you know, just a lot. And you are, it's like you are marching forward with the belief and the willingness to see that somehow it is going to pay off, that you know, the hardship, the challenges, the obstacles are going to turn into something beautiful, are going to bring you well-deserved rewards. So, everything here in this uh, first part of your reading, Aries, feels like you are in the middle of something. Or, you know, maybe you have just started, but it really doesn't feel like something exactly new right a new job or a new project it feels pretty much something that you are involved in and that you have been working on it for quite some time and so your perception of how much you are delivering right or how much you are in it is like a great deal for you right so let's begin already we begin with the nine of wands and so to me this card has, you know, in the past shown me this beautiful path of flowers, right? But traditionally, this is a card of, you know, carrying a lot of weight on your shoulder and perhaps, you know, just putting a lot on yourself. It's like just, um, you know, <sighs> carrying burdens or, you know, taking this just being weighed down, right? This is what I mean. Because, you know, perhaps you feel like you are alone, right? In this journey, in this job, in this position, in this moment of your life, right? But so this perception of yours, it's something that you have been working on, right? With the Eight of Pentacles. So in order to see the path of flowers, it requires hard work. It requires effort. It, re it requires time and dedication, right? And so this feels like something that you are just continuing, right? It's not, it doesn't feel like something new, Aries. It feels like, you know, you have been traveling this path for a while now right? You have been showing up. You have been doing the work. You have been, you know, um, adding your contribution. You have been, you know, um, like putting in the hours, right? It's like there is effort. There is hard work. But I feel like you see that it hasn't been completed yet, or it's like it hasn't shown the rewards yet. I want to say it more like that, right? It's almost like you haven't seen the flowers bloom in this path of flowers for you. It's almost like it's just a bare hard path, right? Or this is how it's been so far. But you are still in it and it feels like there's still work to be done, right? And so for you, Aries, your hope, is that at some point, right, because you're doing the work, because you are like showing how much you are dedicated to this path, right? How much you are overcoming the challenges, right? It's at least, you know, maybe you don't see like overcoming yet because you haven't seen the flowers bloom, right? So it's almost like you haven't seen the other side of how it pays off, right, to be in this path of hard work of having to perhaps you know prove yourself over and over again 
right? And I don't mean to anybody else, it's more like yourself, right? It's almost like I am not going to give up. I am not going to give up, right? This is what is the vibe of this first card, right? So it's like you are still wanting and hoping to see the flowers in this path of flowers. It's almost like you know that we'll get to a point that the hard work will, it's like will prove to be worth something, right? That will bring back the rewards, that will um, hand you some sort of, um, some sort of a return, right? It's like, so, seeing beauty right in hardship is hard right this is what these two cards are talking about it's like it's not an easy process to find beauty and to keep on going to it right or trying to find it or trying to pursue this path that you will know that at some point it will it will show itself right because so far it hasn't but your hope is still up that you, if you just keep on going, keep on doing the work, things will become smoother. So the Six of Pentacles coming next. And it's interesting because these two cards, the Eight of Pentacles followed by the Six of Pentacles exactly in this order came up yesterday in the Pisces reading for the extended part. So it was talking about something that can be overwhelming, right? An overwhelming amount of work, right? Or dedication that you are uh, being required to show up, but then it becomes something that flow on its own, right? That has this very harmonious dynamic to it, right? It's like this is an exchange, right? And it's almost like the more hard work you show, the more you um, commit to this work, commit to this project, right? It's like you're, it's like you're showing to the path, right? It's like with every step that you don't bend, that you don't leave, that you don't fall, that you don't run away, right? It's like you are proving, right? It's almost like this is. Um, this is the mark that you're leaving here, right? It's like you want this exchange, right? Instead of receiving challenges, right? It's like you want like a fair exchange that shows the beauty as a reward instead of something that is heavy to carry, right? So this is ultimately your goal, right? Or this is the hope that you still have in you just to keep you going, just to keep you believing, just to keep you motivated to not bail out, right? Not to um, give up. So it's almost like, yes, believe that this smoother path is on its way, right? It's like, because it's not something that, that's the thing, it's not something that you're going to receive. It's not a reward. It's more so like you are, you are doing the work that is going to be itself the reward. I don't know if it makes sense, but it's, it's more like if you think that the reward or if you thought or if somebody told you that, you know, this effort would be worth it, would be worth the investment, you know, of your time, of your energy, of your money, of whatever it is, right? It's like, if somebody told you that you would be handed, you know, a $1 million check or whatever, it's just an example, obviously, right? To me, the most valuable things are flowers, right? So this is why this shows up as the path of flowers. It's like, you know, the reward can be anything that is valuable to you, right? And that is keeping this light of hope inside of you, um, there right motivating you inspiring you keeping you minimally alive but with the energy to dedicate to this right to put in the work to carry this heavy load right so but that's the thing it's like the more you walk right the more you see that the true exchange right 
for all of the work that you're putting in, it's more so than, you know, wanting to receive something or, you know, it's, what is that word? It's like, uh, oh, it came and went, uh, oh yeah, feeling entitled, right? It's like, this is you feeling entitled. It's almost like maybe punishing yourself or like being too critical of, of yourself or not, not too critical is not the right word. It's, um, too demanding of yourself, right? It's like going to the limits to test yourself, right? To prove that you can overcome this, that you, that you deserve the reward, that you deserve the compensation that comes with staying there and not giving up, right? But that's the thing. It's like the more you walk, the sensation that it can only become smooth is based on the work itself and not the feeling of entitlement just because somebody said that it would be worth to stay in this path no matter how hard it get through time right or how endless it seems to be before you start seeing any type of reward coming your way right does it make sense it feels like you are shifting the way that you expect the exchange to be returned to you, right? How much you're giving in and how much you are getting back, right? It's like, it becomes something that you know that is, it's almost like the more you give is exactly what you're going to receive, right? So, but it's not something that is based on, it's almost like it's coming through as like this entitlement, right? It's like the right to receive, right? Just because you're putting yourself in a very burdened position, right? It's almost like you want to, maybe this is like playing victim, right? And I know this can be harsh, but it's like, that's, that's the effort, right? To see the beauty beyond the hardship, right? It's like, so if somebody told that, or, you know, this doesn't need to be somebody that told you actually that this would pay off at some point, right? This could be just like this internal unconscious belief, right? That if you play this part of the one who is suffering, of the one who is carrying all of the load, the one who needs the biggest reward, right? Just because you suffer the most, right? I know that I'm exaggerating, exaggerating. It doesn't need to be that intense, right? But Aries, it's like you're seeing the more you walk that yes, the hard work is going to be worth everything that you're putting in, but because of this and not because of this, right? It's like seeing the, the flowers here goes beyond entitlement, right? And so this is also here. So this is a little bit of a tricky card, right? Because it's like, to me, the four of cups, right? So the fours to me are all about the basis, the foundation, the groundwork, the structure, but it's coming through as the four of cups, right? If it was the four of pentacles, right? There would be a clear understanding here of, you know, the hard work in this 3D level is becoming smoother and more harmonious the more you commit to it. And then at some point, if it was the Four of Pentacles, it would lay the foundation for it to become something stable, right? That would be like the natural path. But there is something that is not so obvious. And that is why I feel like the understanding of how you were put perhaps consciously or unconsciously by yourself or by somebody else push right in this victim mindset or in this um need to suffer so that you can receive the compensation for being in that position right um it's like in order to see the path of flowers in order to see the foundation come to life right because the Four of Cups is almost like you haven't seen yet this foundation being established, being laid, being, uh, you know, uh, sedimented in a way that feels structured. It's almost like this is still the hope. This is still the desire. This is still the, um, the wish that you have, right? To have a solid foundation. It's, it's almost like still there is perhaps like, you know, the solid 
pentacle foundation, right? If we are talking about, you know, uh, some sort of work or job or position at work or, you know, a project that is going to give you like the resources, the physical elements, perhaps the money so that you can feel stable, feel secure, feel like there is this um, ground, 3D, earthy stability, right? Or a solid ground under your feet. So, but, but still, it's almost like you still have to work on the emotional part of it, right? It's almost like you still have to work on this desire or this wish or this hope. It's almost like in order to see this come to life, it's like there is, it's almost like there is something that has to pass through your heart and not necessarily the hands that you're using to work, right? Or to do this work because it feels like there are still, how do I say this? threats or uh things that are that could be like that could that could make you question the hard work being worth it right it's almost like yes this is very much clear to you right Aries that this is a lot of work but you can do this it's like you can turn it into something that is harmonious and flows in its own natural dynamic, right? And that it doesn't have to be that heavy, right? It can be something fair. It can be something that is trustworthy, right? But with the Seven of Swords coming after this, still not that solid foundation let's put it that way it's like there are still threats there are still perhaps you know negative thoughts or there are still unconscious things that are in the vicinity right this is almost talking about like the moment that you fall or the moment that you doubt or the moment that you still aren't seeing the reward right you are it's like you are only seeing the part that that you have to fulfill, right? In this exchange, you haven't seen the return of what you what you expect to receive back, right? So this is a reason why this is still it's like it's still not that solid or that trustworthy for you, right? It's almost like you are not it's like your heart is not in it because you're not seeing the proof like in in physical terms, in financial terms, or in, in like in this 3D material world, right? So this is almost like the perfect situation for the Seven of Swords to, to appear, to show up and to scare you, right? It's like this is this is coming through as like um moments where even the tiniest doubt can grow into something enormous and it's like collaborate it's like making you continue to see the hardship but still feeling like uh the word that is coming to me is a word in portuguese but it's it's like uh i can't find the translation in portuguese it's like cobrança it's like you are asking too much of yourself, right? It's almost like the moment of the tiniest doubt. This is when you are more critical of yourself or you are more frustrated with the whole situation and perhaps you are questioning if you should have invested so much, right? But that's the thing. It's like the path of flowers is here, right? You are in the field where the flowers bloom, you are in the right path. It's just that if you still follow like the entitlement, it's almost like the hardship will continue, right? It's like this is, it's almost like this is the default mode, right? And this is what prevents this solid foundation to take shape to become something real, to become something that you can see and you can touch and you have proof that is 
actually paying off, right? So there is something that you need to work on, Aries, I, I want to say, that is not necessarily putting in more work or showing that you are committed, you know, dedicating hours and hours and hours of your day and, you know, almost like being this perfectionist, right? And inside, you know, mentally or emotionally, you are still doubting or you are still unstable. You are still, you know, um, unsure of how much this is truly worth it, right? But I want to say it is, right? Straight away after the Seven of Swords, we have the Sun. So this is coming through as your authentic self, right? It's coming through as like the Sun is going to shine, but it shines through you, right? So it's the same thing that I was seeing here. It's like this uh, switch between seeing the hardship and feeling like it's never ending and almost like uh, asking this path to give you something or it's more than just asking, it's like demanding your reward, right? Demanding to see the flowers, demanding it to grow in your own pace, right? Because you have put in so much, right? It's like, it's almost like this controlling unconscious behavior, right? But the sun is the one it's almost like there is no sun right there's only like this um these flames right if we think of the ones as flames right there are only flames so it's almost like the burdens right the burdens are not going to be the perfect food for the flowers to bloom right it needs sunlight but the sunlight is you your authentic self is exactly the ingredient needed for the flowers to bloom and that was already the exchange that i was seeing here it's like the fairness of this exchange that will prove trustworthy right and worthy in every sense right even perhaps financial or in terms of you know, a uh, project or clients or success, whatever it is. It's like, you have to be the sun. You have to be the one that, you know, feels like you are being this seed, right? So we're ending here with the page of um, pentacles, right? So the more you put in the work, but carry still that emotional questioning or the doubt right or the feeling of victimhood of you know um feeling entitled to receive whatever it is it's like you're not being your authentic self right it's almost like you're just following a pattern that it's this it's it's like the repetition of some sort of unconscious negative belief right whether it came from you know your family your friends your co-workers or you don't even know where it came from and it really doesn't matter right it's like the only thing that is causing you trouble i want to say aries is that it's still here right and the longer this seven of swords is threatening to you it's like this sun you will never see how much potential you carry within yourself it's almost like you're only going to see the reflection of your own light as the flames in the path right as the burdens so instead of that's the that's the reason why it requires a lot of effort to see the beauty you know past the obstacles because it's like the sun is always going to be there shiny no matter how many clouds are in the sky right but you have to be the seed. You, it's almost like the groundwork has to keep on going, right? It's like, that's the reason why at the beginning of this reading, I was unsure if it was like a new project or not because of this page of pentacles. But it's almost like, I feel like it's not necessarily a new project. I feel like it's one that it's ongoing already. But Aries, this perception of you being the authentic self that is capable of nurturing this path and being the perfect element, the perfect sunlight, the perfect food for the rewards to show up, right? Instead of 
being handed to you, right? It's like, you are the seed, you are the flower that is supposed to bloom, but you're also the authentic self that helps to nurture it, right? And helps helps to make it grow, right? So yeah, I feel like there are, you know, a few paradigm shifts in order for you to see that you are in the right path, but, you know, switch that feeling of entitlement to like an authentic, it's almost like um, you don't have to prove to others that you are carrying burdens and therefore you deserve to receive whatever compensation it is that you think you deserve, right? It's more so like just be you and you'll see that whatever you thought others had to hand to you, it's like you are going to be your own reward. It's like becoming this is your own reward, Aries. So yeah, I hope this was useful to somebody out there. Uh, I'm going to pull more cards for you, Aries, as well as the astrological runes in the extended reading. So if you want to join me there, I'll be very, very happy to see you. And you can find the link down below in the description box. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.